May 25, Monday of the seventh week of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything, that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord Take courage, I have conquered the world. The hour of Jesus' passion and death is already considered a triumph over sin, yet the disciples do not fully understand with his eventual death. Jesus anticipates the perplexity of his disciples. They will experience loss and being lost, scattered like sheep without a shepherd. In fact, when Jesus is arrested, the disciples leave him and flee. With the words, take courage, Jesus inspires the disciples that in spite of the inevitable struggle, another hour of glory will eliminate all doubts and fears. By his resurrection, the ultimate victory is won. Jesus will conquer death, the byproduct of sin. After the resurrection, the disciples will boldly face those who are opposed to Jesus. With the power of the Holy Spirit, they will bear witness to Jesus Christ our Lord. If the Christians of today have to wake up the world from its timid stance and shake off the image of irrelevance, all believers should be fired up with the Spirit of Christ, who has conquered the world. Pope Francis encourages anyone to evangelical parishia, that is, the freedom and the boldness to preach the gospel with joy and promote creative encounter with today's culture and realities.